All right, we're going to do the integral of 1 over x dx. And if you notice up here, I've got it typed out. That's a basic, the basic integral of 1 over x with respect to x is the natural log of the absolute value of x plus c. And we're not going to get into the proof of this. We're just going to use it so uh, we can get through some of these problems. And so here we go. So the first problem I'm going to give you here is a fairly simple one. This is the integral of 2 over x dx right here. And so if you did that, you can pull the constant out front of the integral. So that would be 2 times the integral of 1 over x dx. And we already know that the integral of 1 over x dx is the natural log of the absolute value of x. So this would be 2 times the natural log of x plus c. So that one's fairly straightforward because it's basically all it is just a constant times 1 over x. Now when they get a little trickier, um, we use what's called u substitution. And so what I would do with this particular problem is get everything in terms of u and let u equal 4x minus 1. So, so far, so far we've got this integral of 1 over u dx. Well, um, we, we have to go ahead and uh, these have to be the same, u and dx. So what you can do then is integrate, or not integrate, derivate that u. So we know that the derivative of u with respect to x is 4 because that's the derivative of 4x minus 1. Then go ahead and solve for this this dx here. So this is over 1. Uh, we need a common denominator uh, in order to cross these out. I always call it cross multiplying but I know not everybody does that. So I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by dx and what happens is these dx's cross out and you're left with du equals 4 dx and then I would divide by 4. And so now we know dx is d, yeah, du divided by 4. Okay, so now we can plug that in for dx there. And so, bear with me as I move it over here to the right. So now we'd have the integral of 1 over u, du over 4. Well, again, we can pull that 4 out as a constant. So this would equal 1 fourth integral of u, uh, 1 over u, excuse me, du. That's pulling this this 4 right here out as a 1 fourth. And I'm sorry I'm moving around my board here, but I'm going to go up with this. And so that means then we've got the integral of 1 over u. So this thing is now 1 fourth the natural log of the absolute value of u plus c. But we know what u is. We, we started by saying that u is 4x minus 1. So our final answer here would be 1 fourth times the natural log of the absolute value of 4x minus 1 plus c. And so there's my final answer. Sorry I jumped around here and made that kind of ugly. I won't do that again. But that gives you an idea of how to do these with u substitution. So let's look at yet another example. So what about the integral, you know, this is a, instead of a indefinite integral, let's do a, a definite integral from 0 to 3. So again, when you're doing this, you'd have the integral from 0 to 3 of x over, in case you can't, in case it's too small and it's not showing up on YouTube, 
So the integral from 0 to 3 of x over x squared plus 1 dx. Well, again, we're going to use u substitution. And with these, what we do is we let u equal the bottom, which would be x squared plus 1. And I'm going to go ahead and take the derivative of u with respect to x, like we did in that last problem. And if we did that, you'd have 2x plus 0, or just 2x. And again, we're going to solve for um, dx. So I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by dx. These two cross out. You've got du equals 2x dx. We're going to divide by 2x to get the dx by itself. And now we know that dx equals du divided by 2x. So we can substitute this dx in. We can substitute this dx in, and we can substitute this uh, u in for x squared plus 1. So now my integral would be from 0 to 3 still of x over u and then times or right times du over 2x well we still got an x there but what's nice is if you'll notice this these x's would cross out x divided by x is 1 and then that 2 right here is a 1 half so we could rewrite this as 1 half the integral of 1 over u du. And again, it's from 0 to 3. Um, and we know what one the integral of 1 over u is. So this thing is now 1 half um, ln of the natural log of u. So 0 to 3 ln of the absolute value of u. And again, this just is a placeholder for showing that we're going to find the definite integral under the curve from 0 to 3. And we also know what u is. We know that it is x squared right here, x squared plus 1. So this is now 1 half. And I'm going to put my line out front here because we're going to start plugging in here shortly. 1 half the natural log of x squared plus 1. Again, it's absolute value. I'm just going to leave it out for right now, but um, we went ahead and plugged it in. So this thing now, you can plug in the 3, so 1 half times the ln of x, no, not x. <laughs> it would be 3 squared plus 1 minus 1 half times the ln of 0 squared plus 1. And so this would be 1 half ln of 10, because 9 plus 1 is 10, minus 1 half times ln of 1. And so there's my answer. Now you could find the decimal of that. You just plug it into your calculator. I think ln of 1 is 0, so it's it's really just 1 half ln 10. And it's that 10 is positive, so we're good to go. And we can find the integral of that. Or we can find the natural log of that. So there you have it. We're ready for the next problem. So that's a definite integral kind of following the same lines. So then the next problem, again, in case you can't see it, that is the integral of 3x over x cubed plus x dx. And again, we're just going to keep using this, you know, just to kind of beat a dead horse here. But we're going to keep, strange, strange thing to say, but we're going to just keep using u substitution. And, and these are all contrived problems. I mean, they're, I'm picking them because they, they come out easy. They're, they're, they're fairly fairly quick and easy and you can see the pattern quickly but anyway u is x cubed plus x so du with respect to dx would be 3x squared plus 1 and again we're going to solve this thing uh, 
for for dx. So you know you multiply both sides by dx. This times dx. You know here the dx is cross out, and du equals 3x squared plus 1 dx. You divide by 3x squared plus 1, and there, there we have dx. So dx is equal to du, whoops, dx is equal to du over 3x squared plus 1. So we can substitute that stuff in. So the integral of 3x, oh, and I did forget, this is 3x squared plus 1. I didn't write it all out, sorry. So the integral of 3x squared plus 1 over our initial u, and then instead of dx, we'd have du with uh, divided by 3x squared plus 1. Well, notice there that these 3x squared plus 1s cross out. We've got the integral of 1 over u du, um, which we know is the natural log of u plus c. We know what u is, and so our final answer then is the natural log of the absolute value of x cubed plus x and then plus c. And so this would be your final answer for that integral, again using u substitution. So uh, and I'm just going to do several of these kind of in, a, in succession. So this is now the integral of tang uh, secant squared. So the integral of secant squared theta over tangent theta d theta. Again, uh, switch colors. Color is kind of atrocious. U equals um, tangent theta. You always let it equal to the bottom in these type of problems. And you have to be able to see this pattern. I mean, you can imagine a whole bunch of different types of integrals, and then you have to recognize this. So it, it takes some practice to kind of train your mind to do these things. So u is tangent theta. The derivative of u with respect to x of tangent theta is secant squared theta. And again, you solve for dx, and uh, this might be getting pretty redundant now, but this would be, you'd multiply both sides by dx, and these dx's cross out, and du equals secant squared theta dx. You divide by the secant squared theta. And we're ready to plug that in. And I guess it shouldn't be it shouldn't be dx. It should have been d theta because we're dealing with d theta. So all those should have been d thetas. This is a d theta instead of x. And so we know that d theta equals du over secant squared theta. Well, we can plug all these things in. And you'd have the integral of secant squared theta over u. Um, and instead of d theta, we'd have du divided by secant squared theta. And you notice that the secant squareds cross out. Again, we're left with 1 over u du. We know that's the natural log, the absolute value of u plus c. And we know that u is tangent theta, because that's what we let it begin to begin with. So this would be the natural log of tangent theta plus your constant c. Okay, there we go. And I said I'd do several of these in succession. So here's another one. Uh, integral of x plus 1 equal to x squared. 2x. It'd, it'd help you to do these, like hit pause on the video and see if you can do this without me. Because they're all pretty much the same. 
And so du dx is equal to 2x plus 2. Two yep. I got to slow down here, make sure I don't screw them up. Um, then you, again, we're going to solve for dx. So we're going to multiply both sides by dx. Here the dx is cross out. du equals 2x plus 2 dx. We're going to divide then. We're going to divide by the 2x plus 2. And so dx is du divided by 2x plus 2. Um, and this is a little challenging because, again, you have to be somewhat practiced in algebra to see, oh, well, hey, I could factor a 2 out of that. So really this is dx equals du divided by 2 times the quantity of x plus 1 if you reverse distribution. That'll help us when we plug this back into the problem. So we'd have the integral of x plus 1 divided by u, because that was the x squared plus 2x. And instead of dx, we got du divided by 2 times x plus 1. Well, again, these x plus 1s cross out. because uh, They're the same on top and bottom. And you've got the integral of 1 over u and then times du. And that 2, again, is a 1 half that we could pull out front. And so, again, this is the natural log. So 1 half natural log of u. And instead of u, I'm going to go ahead and substitute it in right away because I don't want to keep writing it out. And there you have it. So that's so it's 1 half natural log of x squared plus 2x plus the quantity c. Okay, so next problem. Now we're going to get into some harder ones here shortly. Um, but not yet. <laughs> so this one is the integral, again, integral 1 over 3x plus 2. I mean, try it out. Hit pause on the video. See if you can do this thing. So you let u equal 3x plus 2 du dx equals 3. You cross multiply, or not cross multiply, but you multiply by dx to solve on both sides. And so these cross out, du equals 3 dx. And so dx equals du divided by 3. So that's what goes into the problem along with the u. So this is now the integral 1 over u du divided by 3. And again, that, that one-third is going to go out front. DU. And so you have one-third ln, natural log, of your u, which is 3x plus 2, and then plus c. So there is, again... Your final answer on that one. And just moseying on along here. Um, now we're going to jump into something that's hard. So when you look at a problem like this one, um, you've got the integral. You've got the integral of x squared plus x plus 1 divided by x squared plus 1 dx. And you might look at that and go, well, does it factor up here on the top? Um, does it factor on the bottom? And, and you'll notice that it doesn't. And so those are some things you can try. Um, you could, you'd probably go down a lot of false paths if you're doing this one fresh without, without it just being part of this lesson. But what we would do in this case is divide the two. So and and divide it just like long division. So what we have here is we have x squared 
plus 1 divided by x squared plus x plus 1. So I'm, I'm going to actually physically divide these. And if you notice, you know, you, you only match up your first terms. I should do that in a different color. So we're, we're after these first terms. Well, all we'd have to do is multiply this thing by 1. And you'd have x squared plus 0x, because there isn't one, plus 1. And then we'd subtract that off, which changes both of those signs. And you're left with x, just a plain old x. And if you remember this, then your answer is 1 plus x over what we divided by, which was x squared plus 1. So this one can be rewritten then as the integral of x, or 1, excuse me, excuse me, a 1 there. So let me get rid of that. So the integral of 1 plus x over x squared plus 1 dx. So you can split this into two integrals. So it's the integral of 1 dx plus the integral of x over x squared plus 1 dx. And, um, and that, that, that'll simplify it. So this first part we can do pretty quickly. The integral of 1 dx is just x plus now the integral of x over x squared plus 1 dx. I got a weird spot on my board here. We're going to have to do the u du stuff. So um, u would equal x squared plus 1, um, du dx equals 2x. So, and I'm going to skip to the kind of the punchline here, dx would equal then du divided by 2x. Again, not showing my work because I've done it a whole bunch of times. And we can integrate, we can, you know, substitute this here, put your u right there. And so just pulling this out, that integral in is x over u du divided by 2x. du divided by 2x. And what you notice there is those x's would cross out. And so that would be 1 half the integral 1 over u du, which is 1 half times the natural log of whatever u is. In this case, it happened to be x squared plus 1. This would not have to be absolute value because it, it's, it's going to be positive no matter what you put in there. And so there's your final answer along with that x we started with. So here's that x. We're going to add these two together then, plus c. So it's going to be x plus 1 half natural log of x squared plus 1 plus c. Squeezing it in. So sorry, my handwriting is so sloppy. But there's your, there's your integral for that one. So it's, that one's a little harder. So we're, we're jumping into and we're jumping into some harder ones, and then your final one that I'm going to work with tonight is the integral of 2x over x plus 1 squared dx. Okay, so when we do this one, um, again we'll let u. Whoops, I'm already skipping to the. <laughs> ah, good thing it's the last one. So I'm skipping to the punchline before I even start. So you let u equal x plus 1. And so du dx equals 1. So that means du equals dx. Well, that's kind of nice. So this thing, when we start plugging things in, you're going to notice that my x doesn't cross out this time. So you've got 2x over u squared, and then instead of dx, you'd have du. Um, and so, shoot, usually we had something divided by here, but all we've got really is a 1. Usually we had an x there, so we could cross that out, and it, 
it's easy to deal with. So what you have to do then is go back into this thing and we're going to have to solve this thing for x. So x equals u minus 1. That's solving this equation here. And so we can plug that in also. So we'd have the integral of 2 times u minus 1 divided by u squared du. So we are almost ready to integrate this. I'm going to simplify it. I'm going to move this u squared up by making it negative. So we'd have the integral of 2u to the negative 2 times u minus 1 du. Then I'll distribute through. So that's the integral of 2u. This is a 1, so you have to add your exponents. So negative 1 minus 2u to the negative 2 du. And again, you can split that integral up into two integrals. So the first integral is the integral of, uh, well, we can pull the 2 out, 1 over u, because that's u to the negative 1 du. We know what that one is already. And we know that the second one is 2 times the integral. And we can just use the power rule on the second one, u to the negative 2 du. So we'll use the power rule there. But the first one is 2 times the natural log. So we would have 2 times the natural log. And we know what u is. It's x plus 1. So the absolute value of x plus 1 minus 2, and I'm running out of room, but if you remember that in about the power rule, you would add 1 here and divide by that, that number. So this is also divided by negative 2 plus 1, just to show you what I'm doing. So this would be negative 2 u to the negative 1 over negative 1 plus c. In simplifying this out, again, the u, we know that's x plus 1. So we know the answer to this thing is 2 natural log of x plus 1. Wow, that spot on my board is weird. So 2 times the natural log of x plus 1 minus, well, it would be plus because two negatives make a positive there plus 2 times u to the negative 1, which would be 2. The negative 1 puts it on the bottom, and u is x plus 1 plus c. Now, I'm not going to simplify that any further. That's just where we're going to end it. And there's your final answer for that. So there you go, 27 minutes of integration. I hope this thing helps you, and uh, I'll see you next time.